Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Kahalah Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rukakadash Barakata Wa Barakatham to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great millstone who grew well. Peace and salutations to the Alkim who are pushing out this work with genuine truth and sincerity. Today's class will be 70 times 7. It is very important that we forgive our brethren 70 times 7 per day because we tend to go off and you know what I'm saying? And if we are forgiven by the Father of the things that we do, we should do the same thing towards our brethren. And and I can't remember how many times, probably over a trillion, over a thinity times that I've been going off before the truth and after the truth. And I had to remember to have mercy on every single brother that I come across and within the brotherhood. It is very important to have mercy on your brethren because Yahweh, Yahweh Shah has mercy on you. And if you don't have mercy on your brethren, most definitely he will not have mercy on you. You know? So, we have to love our brethren and have mercy. Because remember, you, you will always go off you can't keep all the laws. You keep you can't keep all the commandments. You you will always offend the most high Yahweh. The only thing we can do is offend less and keep it moving. Okay? Okay, so let's get this precept. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 21. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. Of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Con. So. Uh, of the days of old uh, um, it was a sin to kill your brother now if you are angry at your brother it's, it's the equivalent as murder if you hate him without a cause if you hate him for what he done to you it's equivalent as murder and you will be put to death or you're going to go through some serious afflictions in your life until you get it you're gonna go through hell and high water just because you didn't have mercy on that brother okay you gotta have mercy on your brother because Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 Ephesians 4 and 26 be ye angry and sin not you can be angry for what that brother did but sin not. Don't speak evil towards the brother. Don't hit the brother. Don't. Like whatever that he did. Don't lay hands on him. Don't try to kill him. Sin not. Be, be ye angry. Yeah you can be pissed off. But don't put your hands on him. Let the Most High take care of that. Depending on the situation. But if you if if you have no control of that situation, do what you got to do. But if you have full control of your emotions, it was up to you to make that first move. Don't do it at all. Okay. Leave leave the visions to Yahweh Yahweh Shah. They'll take care of it. 
Okay? So, Ephesians 4.26, Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. So don't give room to Hashatan. Because all it takes is one second or five seconds to ruin your life. Okay? All right, so let's get Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. Matthew 18, verse 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? Yahweh shall I save unto him. I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Con. So Peter asked, um, like, uh, Lord, like, how, um, la, how oft shall my brother sin against me? So how many times uh, a brother's gonna, uh, you know, press your buttons or steal from you? Or talk bad about you and um and then he said and i forgive him to seven times so he said like it's the limit seven times like like forgive him seven times per day or just uh because you know seven because because number seven is is a, uh it's a number of completion so he said until seven times after that like you know what i'm saying like uh you know like pop him in the face or something and and then like Yahweh was like, nah, I say unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. So that's how many times you're supposed to give uh that's that's how many times that you are supposed to forgive your brother per day. Because you gotta take one day at a time. You know? And and the situations that you put yourself into, the most I could have left you in that situation and allowed you to be uh, devoured but he had mercy on you and he left you out and if that brother did the same thing the same thing to you the most high is going to see if you're going to give that brother mercy okay and we're going to read that in the parable so Matthew 18 21 then came Peter to him and said Lord how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times. Yahweh shall I say unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but, un but until seventy times seven. Verse 23. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him. And this is us. Okay which owed him 10,000 talents which owed him which owed him 10,000 talents i looked up one talent one talent is like 1.5 million dollars today one talent so 10,000 talents that's a lot of money guys that's a lot of money he owed to that man and when he had begun reckoning, one brought unto him which owed him ten thousand talents. But for as much as he had paid, as for as much as he had paid not, for as much as he had not to pay, his lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife and children and all that he had and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. Does that sound familiar? When we were in situations that we couldn't get out of, and we were begging the Most High, um, like begging the Most High Yahweh Yahweh Shai 
to get you out of that situation, he got you out of it. He got you out of it. He said, you know what? Okay. You're sincere. You you weeped. You know? And and you made the uh the, the prayer simple. And you mean it and you um and, and you were willing to change, I'm gonna get you out of it. Here you go. So he did that for the majority of us. He did that for us. You know? Okay? So verse 26. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Verse 27. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him and forgave him the debt. But the same servant, the same dude who got loosed, um, uh, like loosed away and got and got and got forgiven, but the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence, which is one hundred pennies. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So that's what most of these brothers do especially in the world if you owe them like say like 20 bucks I remember I owed my cousin five dollars and he wanted to kill me for not giving him five dollars he like like he literally wanted to like he was acting like some sort of I don't know that that brother he was something else. he had demons on him and he, and he wanted five dollars back begging me every single day where my five dollars at i'm like five dollars i was like bro here's your five dollars i'm never gonna ask for money from you again man you know what i'm saying that dude was something else i don't deal with him anymore by the way so but if i did see him and came across i will show him love you know what i'm saying because that's what because that's what we're supposed to do to israel to show them love even though they're two third or not so yeah he didn't have no uh sympathy towards the man at all so Verse 31, so when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that, he had called him and said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, all that debt, because thou desirest me. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth, he was mad. Wroth means like furious, mad, you know? And his Lord was wroth and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him because he didn't forgive his his fellow servant and he threw him he threw him in prison for 100 pennies after his lord forgave him for 10,000 talents which is a lot of money today so i don't get it he didn't show mercy to his fellow servant who owed 100 pennies you know so like like i told you about my cousin you know five dollars he wanted to, he wanted to karate chop me for five dollars and this was like a few years back he wanted to karate chop me for five dollars i can't i can't even fathom if it was a thousand then he probably would have killed me 
But anyways, yeah. Um, and we have to remember of what Yahushai did for us, which is that genuine charity of laying down his life for the elect of Israel. So we must do the same thing for him, for others. Do more, do more for others more than you do for yourself. Even if you have to take the L to gain that W in the end. Whatever it takes. And one of those things is to forgive your brother no matter what. No matter how vexed you are, no matter how exhausted and um, spiritually exhausted or mentally exhausted you are, forgive that brother. Like I always been told, it's not about you. It's about the Heavenly Father and the Son and what you can do for your brother. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Okay? I hope this was edifying to the elect. Kahala, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rukha Kadash. Shalom.